Just a gorgeous day here at Six Flags Magic Mountain. The storms have subsided. The blue skies are out. The snow capped mountains in the distance. After being cooped up in the house with all the storms that have been here, it's so good to be back at Six Flags. It's only open on Fridays, Saturdays, Sundays, and Mondays this time of year. And there's been so many rainy days here in Southern California that the park hasn't been open a whole lot lately. I did get here briefly uh, last weekend, but it was literally for about an hour just to meet up with some friends. But I am back here for a full trip through the park. So thanks for coming along. Let's have some fun. One's empty. No screams coming out of there. You can see if you just stand here out in the parking lot and you just pan across the mountains. More snow over there. Pretty heavy snow over there. More snow and more snow. We are completely encircled here with snowy mountains. Not to forget Hurricane Harbor directly next door. The water park here at Six Flags Magic Mountain will be opening in a few short months. These Canadian geese were completely quiet until I got right up next to them here from across the road. And they started getting all vocal. They must know. You must know that there is a fellow Canadian nearby. Yeah, they got all, they're getting all testy over there now. They're completely quiet. We're almost at the entrance. Here we go. I thought maybe it would be busier today since the park hasn't been open too many days recently but there's absolutely not very many people here at all. Like I was saying earlier, there's been so much rain here the last couple weeks and that coupled with the park only being open this time of year on Friday, Saturday, Sundays, and Mondays, there's been so many closures. As soon as it starts raining, there's already rain in the forecast. They just don't even open. They're a lot different than the other theme parks in Southern California in that regards. Disneyland's open rain or shine. Not Magic Mountain though. Okay, we are through the turnstiles. Directly to the right is the Looney Tunes Superstore and the Funnel Cake Factory to the right that gets really busy in the evening time when the park is closing. That line gets long. Everyone comes here to get funnel cakes to go. There's also Plaza Ice Cream and Shakes directly opposite. Another good option if the funnel cakes line is too long. Have the Six Flags photo booth temporarily closed. Back there is Guest Relations on the left. At the very back there is the Flash Pass headquarters. You want to get a Flash Pass for the day. There's also lockers back there in that direction. Here is Pass Holder Services. You can do your pass upgrades and get information and support. There's a gift shop here on the left, the main fountain area, and of course the Six Flags. Let's not forget Coaster Candy Shop as we're leaving the plaza. On this full walkthrough tour, I am going to be walking to the left first. Some people like to go to the right. Full throttle is in that direction. I am going to go to the left. We get to the carousel here first. Some people screaming on Tatsu. Tatsu is the orange and green coaster right there. Oh, love that ride. 
And right here below it, the white coaster. Let's not forget the magic mover, which is a good way to get immediately up into the back of the park. There's Revolution going by. The entrance to Revolution is directly up past the carousel. Revolution is the first looping roller coaster in the United States, if not the world, I think. Right below in the comments below if you, uh, if you know otherwise. This is going to be the expedited full walk tour of the park 2023. There's the entrance to Revolution that way. We're gonna walk up to the left here. This is one of the scare zones during the Fright Fest period in the fall. Such a gorgeous day today. That red coaster right there that we're approaching is Viper. Viper is a little controversial these days. It's apparently very bumpy to ride. There are some who believe that it's seen its day and should be replaced. Other fans love Viper and don't want to leave. Here on the left, they've added pictures of the coasters and the years they were built. We're not gonna stop to look at all of those. It's a cool spot to see if you've never seen it before. The entrance to Viper is in that direction right there. If you want to go to X2, you go up these stairs. Have to keep talking here. I'm going to get copyrighted by that music. There is a new pizza restaurant here that's only been here for a few months. It used to be Panda Express. Entrance to X2 is in this direction walk across that bridge and that is how you get to X2. Gonna keep proceeding here. Famous spot right here where they filmed the end of vacation with the Griswolds. Gonna walk past Primo's Pizzeria up the stairs here. I am walking at a fairly brisk pace so as to give you all the pertinence but to not make this video too long there you can see the queue for revolution and the lift hill right there we're gonna walk under the track of revolution this is another scare zone here during the fry fest they usually have this all illuminated with glow in the dark extravaganzas walking directly under the track here at revolution we're going to continue up the hill on the left we are going to Pass by Katie's Kettle, one of the eateries here at Rapids Camp Crossing. There are restrooms coming up here on the right. And past the restrooms here, across from Katie's Kettle, is the arcade. This is the little Western themed area here at Six Flags Magic Mountain and Tatsu and the now defunct yet iconic Magic Mountain Tower that used to be used to be used to be able to go up there and there used to be a restaurant at the top. Here is Roaring Rapids, closed for the season. It's not very warm out. They usually close it in the winters. There is the entrance to Tatsu right here. Amazing ride. Here is a 
soda and snack center. You can go up these stairways here. That's another way through the center of the park, but we are gonna proceed in the exterior pathway underneath Tatsu. This is the exit line for Roaring Rapids. You get off the ride, you do come down those stairs soaking wet. So watch your step. All right, gonna pick up the pace here a little bit. I, sometimes I love just standing underneath here, watching Tatsu come down, hearing the screams. Such a gorgeous day here today. It's been so cold and rainy here in Southern California. It is March 3rd. It is a Friday and it is 55 degrees and sunny and very blue skies. Here we are walking under the track of Ninja. We'll show you where the entrance to that is in this video as well. There goes Tatsu and the screams I was mentioning. Here we are, the, here we are passing a number of things. There's the yellow and white tracks of West Coast Racers, the red track there of Ninja, and then in the distance, the wooden track of Apocalypse. Hey guys. There goes West Coast Racers right there. It's fun to duel the other coaster on that ride. We're gonna continue down here now. We are getting into the very back area of the park, which at Rope Drop is arguably the best place to come immediately to, since a lot of people stop at the front and go on full throttle right away. Sometimes I like to just come straight to the back of the park and hit the rides back here. All depends on how I'm feeling that day. Here is the famous Six Flags bus parked at the back for a good photo op. Here is the entrance to Apocalypse. I think one of the more underrated rides here. They replaced the they replaced the seat pads on those a few years ago and it's a lot more comfortable to ride. It's kind of like sitting in a sofa, honestly, while you're on that ride. Music is really loud back here. There is some seating areas for you to sit down, have a break, grab some food. There is Twin Charge Tacos and Coaster Candy, Candy Shop. Here we are coming up on the entrance to West Coast Customs, West Coast Racers. A very well-themed ride here. Coming up on the left here is fried chicken place called the Chicken Coop, hand-battered chicken. And as we pass under the tracks here of West Coast Racers, to the left, we can see the go-karts. That is an additional fee. If you're looking for the fast pass entrance to West Coast Racers, it is up through the exit line in that direction. We are now leaving the underground area, coming up on the Dive Devil. That is one of those giant swing rides where you get strapped in and pulled up and hopefully don't plummet to your death. On the right, one of the water rides here at Magic Mountain called Jetstream. Also not open right now. We do love going on that on a hot day. I am directly at the back of the park now. Coming up on the Cheetos popcorn mix snack hut. They do have some game machines here at the back and some vending and soda machines right there. 
There is the Cheetos popcorn mix. That's turned over a number of different uses in the past. Today, Samurai Summit is closed. That is the way up to Ninja. You can also access that area by those back staircases that I pointed out a few minutes ago in the video by Tatsu. Here is Gold Rusher. One of the more extreme coasters here, I kid. Here is the pub. You can get an adult beverage back there. You cannot walk around the park here with adult beverages. You have to drink them in the confined areas that you purchase them in. There is a variety of snacks and chicken, burgers, Carlini's Pizzeria. On the right here is Studio 6F. That is a gift shop and you can also get coffee beverages for sale in there. On the left, as we approach Wonder Woman, which is the yellow and red coaster, we also see Riddler's Revenge, the green and yellow coaster in the distance. On the very left here, we have the Hall of Justice, Battle from Metropolis, also known as Justice League. That is a 3D shooter game. And this is the newest addition to the park here. One of my favorite rides, the single rail coaster named Wonder Woman. I love that ride. There's nothing like going on that ride because it's you're, there's no one sitting next to you. You're on a single rail. As we pass Ace of Clubs here, this is another eatery. Looking straight ahead, we have the Bumper Cars ride here at Magic Mountain called Jammin' Bumpers. And we are approaching the tallest pendulum ride called Crazanity. Kids love this one. Breda used to love it but uh, not so much anymore. Again, if you're looking for the fast pass entrance, you go up the entrance and hang a right and go around the queue. That ride is one of the shortest lines today that I've seen. A lot of the times that queue is full. I'm, I'm really surprised with how much the park has been closed over the last couple weeks with all the rainy days that there's not more people here today. It is a ghost town here pretty much today. So right now they're revamping a lot of the uh, game areas here. They're replacing some of the ones that uh, weren't some of their biggest earners, I suppose. And they're remodeling a little bit here. So half of that is closed right now, but they still do have some open. Hello. Yeah. They did replace, oh, here on the right, let's not forget Johnny Rockets. And approaching Superman. They did replace Victoria's favorite game here, which is when you, where you hang by the bar. This way is the entrance to Wonder Woman, the DC Universe area. The entrance to Wonder Woman is right over there. And then as you're exiting Wonder Woman, you go through a gift shop, of course. In the distance there, we have Batman, the ride. A lot of loops on that one. You, you do ride that roller coaster under the track. And then here they have the former, former, former Wonder Woman ride. And they changed the name, of course, because now we have the Wonder Woman roller coaster. So they couldn't name this Wonder Woman anymore. They turned it into Teen Titans Turbo Spin. It's the same ride, just a different name. We are now gonna keep walking into the steampunk district this is where you will find twisted colossus and scream two coasters back here just to the right of the scream punk district district is lex luther drop of doom right there which is on the side of superman so that structure that structure right there houses two rides right there you can see lex luther drop of doom going up let's stand here for a second watch them plummet. You're 
you have pulled all the way to the top. I imagine the view from up there now is just tremendous with all these snow capped mountains everywhere. Let's zoom out a little bit here so we can watch them fall. They'll pull them up there. They'll let them hang there for a second. And then a lot of screaming. All right, let's continue. On the left here, we have the first aid station. I have used that once before. They're very helpful in there. There's the Gearworks Theater over there. They're doing a VR experience for an additional cost of $25, Army of the Dead. Haven't seen that yet. Continuing into the Scream Punk district here. There are some more restrooms on the right. Restrooms and some water fountains. Passing Colosswitch, another eatery here. Has some okay sandwiches, you know, theme park food. And coming up on Twisted Colossus, this is one of the best rides here. Like if you're coming to Six Flags Magic Mountain and you don't go on this ride, you have made an error, quite frankly. And this way back here, Scream towards Scream is closed off right now. That is the other coaster back here. The blue and orange scream, lots of loops on that. We're gonna go back out the way we came. Trying to walk quickly here. This is not a good representation of how busy this park can get. I'm sure after school gets out in the middle of the afternoon, this place will get a lot busier and into the evening. Actually, I'm not sure it's open past six today, which I think is kind of crazy that it's not open later into the evening. I think they're, maybe they've just had problems with a bunch of people misbehaving at night or something. I'm not sure, but they don't stay open that late. I'm gonna continue back out of the Scream Punk district here. We're gonna hang a left. Street ahead, there is a basketball shooting game that they've recently remodeled. It used to be a, a single net, and now they've made it into a little bit of a different game. Still basketball related. Passing Lex Luthor Drop of Doom. There's the Daily Planet newsstand and gift store. As we pass under the track of Superman. When you're here in person and Superman is running, when Superman goes by here, a lot of people plug their ears because it is very loud. I, for one, do plug my ears. It's just not a very enjoyable decibel level. As we approach Goliath, we are going to pass another couple of food options here. We have munchies, they sell hot dogs, chili cheese fries, chicken strips, sodas. And this is one of the bigger food venues here at Magic Mountain called Food Etc. You can get, they used to have sushi in there. I don't think they have it anymore. You can get uh, Mexican food in there. You can even get a margarita when the machine's working. You can also get Dippin' Dots. And here we are passing Goliath. Goliath is I believe getting a paint job right now, it is not open, but we love that ride. It's a 255 foot drop. You gotta sit in the front if you go on Goliath. And there are the swings. The entrance to the swings is right up here. Called the Swashbuckler. And the Buccaneer is the pirate boat that goes back and forth. On the left here, we have Fort Le John restrooms. Coming up on the kids area here. Don't forget to say hi to one of our favorite wolf statues. There is a couple kitty rides right here. Train Depot, Magic Flyer. Let's just do a Let's just do a run through here quickly of the kids area. 
Spent many, many, many an hour in here when the kids were younger. Lauren and Victoria loved this area. They've now since graduated to the big coasters. Every once in a while for nostalgia sakes, we'll come in here. We'll go on Roadrunner Express. It's that, that's actually one of the better kids roller coasters I've seen anywhere out of all the theme parks I've ever been to. So that's, that's, that's one, yeah, that's probably the best I've ever seen in a kid's area. This uh, defunct theater area has not been used in years. This is another kid coaster over here. Very, very dead in here. There's not even anyone here. I'm the only one here. Little carousel and the weather balloons. And they have the little tiny drop tower over here. Little flight school ride. And the uh, little version of the teacups, Canyon Blaster. It's another kid roller coaster over there. And they got a little truck ride over here. You can get on a little truck and go around at two miles an hour. They do have a foam ball pit play area in here where you can launch foam balls at each other. It's kind of fun to run around there with the kids still, actually. There's another restroom up here. Uh, it's a little bus ride right here. And that's it for the kid area called Bugs Bunny World. And we are coming up on full throttle as we leave the kids area. There's the loading area for full throttle. Another candy store here, no shortage of candy stores. I think that's three. And the sports bar right here. Doesn't look currently open. You can get a variety of beers and sports bar style food in there. They do have games on sometimes. And we are approaching the front of the park again. We've almost done the full circle. Here is the entrance to full throttle. We love that ride. The biggest loop in the world, I think. A lot of in the worlds here at Six Flags. There's high octane wings right here. And screaming spuds, maxed out mac and cheese. Lots of healthy food options here, if you're looking for them. And we are coming back up. This is the theater stage area. They do dancing, They have sometimes they have a DJ out there at night. And here we are, back at the front of the park. A little shortcut, you can go, instead of going back through the plaza, you can go through the gift shop here to leave the park. So let's do that. That's the fastest way out. Well, that is the expedited walkthrough of Six Flags Magic Mountain 2023. I know other people have done some walkthroughs that have been close to an hour. Hopefully this was a lot more manageable to watch, kept your attention. Walking through the Looney Tunes gift shop on the way out. Might as well do the fastest way out. Thank you. And here we are at the, uh, back at the front of the park. Thank you. Thanks a lot for joining me today. I hope that was helpful. I am gonna walk towards the exit now. The vlog is over. Hope you enjoyed this content. Thank you very much. Lots of helpful workers here at Six Flags. Again, thanks for coming guys. It was felt so good to get back out here and walk around in the gorgeous weather today. Felt like I've been cooped up so much over the last couple of weeks of all the rain. The park here not being open on any day that it rains pretty much. It was tremendous to get back out here. So thanks for coming along. If you did like the video, please take a minute, press that like button, it really helps me out. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, now would be a great time to do so. And I'll see you next time. Thanks a lot.